over this series, we've spoken to a host of highbrow experts like doctors and therapists, but we still don't have a clue what's going on in the housemates' heads. Waste of time, you say. So today, we've gone for someone a little more qualified. It's our rompologist, Sam Amos, everybody. <laughs> Hello, Sam. How are you doing? Fine, thank you. Sam, let's, uh, let's get to the bottom of this, Sam. Come on, guys, let's get to the bottom of this. It's brilliant. Uh, what, what exactly is a rumpologist? Well, a rumpologist is a person that looks at the bottom, the shape of the bottom, the, the lines, the crevices, warts, moles, everything. Really, the whole picture, basically. Whole you just picture. You, you, you take it, you scan it into your mind, and then you tell us what's going to happen That's from it. That's correct. Uh, where do you learn a thing like this? I've never seen it kind of up, you know, in the UCAS forms and all the rest of it. Well, I studied for it, but I also use my gift of intuition. Got a gift, right. I, yes. I figured you, you probably did have a gift, right. Now, uh, there's also a former Big Brother contestant, celebrity contestant, Jackie Stallone. Yeah, I'm Jackie. Who, uh, who, was a, who was a rumpologist. That's correct. Do you, what, what do you think of her work? Oh, well, she was the maverick of our rumpologist, wasn't she? She started to make it sort of more well-known. OK, would you, would you allow Jackie to inspect your bottom? Why not? Really? Have, yeah. you ever, have you ever had your... Well, here's Jackie Stallone, everybody! No, no, I'm only kidding, I'm only kidding. So she's not really here. Uh, Jess, 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 you couldn't afford it. We wanted to do it, couldn't afford it. Uh, would, would you like someone to inspect your bottom? No. Right, but you don't mind inspecting ours? No. Right, OK. Mind. Right, I'll see how this works. <laughs> We've got a crank on the firm, everybody. Right, let's get over here uh, for some booty action. This is our astrology chart. Thank you. Got yourself down there, lovely. Right. Uh, which, uh, which ass is underneath our first loose seat? Let's get it up. Oh, my ass. Oh, my ass. Oh, it's Carly's ass, right? Uh, talk us through... There's a gentleman over there who likes it rather a lot. Uh, talk us through this bum. What does this tell us about Carly? Well, with Carly, uh, her right cheek tells me that she's always looking forward, always basically trying to be the best of the best. Um, her left cheek tells me that she's very short fuse, can take things to heart. What is it about the left cheek that well, tells you she's short? Well, it's just here. It's just all this kind of bit here. Right, yeah, and I thought, that, as I saw it, I thought there's a lady with a short fuse. Absolutely. I see, I see why, you, why you picked that out. Anything else you can tell from it? Also, with the right cheek, because of this bit up here, yeah. um, she's very close to her family, although she must argue with someone very close, a lady. I don't know if this is mum or sister, but it just feels arguments fiction there. Very good. So she argues a lot. Yes. You sure you haven't been watching it for the last no. six weeks? Yeah, right, OK. <laughs> Uh, next up, whose bottom, of, whose bottom is it anyway? Oh, oh yes. I quite like... Oh, mm. hold up. I, got a bit, I feel a little bit dirty now. I saw the sequins and I, and I, was, I was up for it and then it was half wits and now I just feel bad. Uh, right, talk us through this bum. A little bit saggy. Well, it is saggy, but with half wit, I mean, what do you expect? Um, with half wit, uh, his left side cheek here, yes. under the cheek, um, means that he's not had much look where la the ladies are concerned. Right, OK. Um, but he, always... he's, he's, up, he's, just, he's generally up for it, though. Oh, yeah, definitely. Does the right I mean, cheek says he, when he you likes look the boys? At, uh, the or... top of his left cheek, he's definitely up for anything, really. Right, okay. um, his right cheek, um, certain line here, uh, that the right means... cheek's not so nice. Seems a bit higher than the left it cheek, is. actually. Well, what that, does that, that tell that's you about a person? That's because he's, he's aiming high and he wants to make an impression. And, aiming and high, brilliant. <laughs> uh, basically, with the, his right cheek, he, he tends to he's, list, he's taking on board what everybody's saying and trying to tone his kind of character down, if you like. Right. Okay. Let's have a little look at our final uh, bum. Kiss my oh, sweet ass. Oh, nice. See of ashes, hairy bum. Is it a problem when there's so much hair there? Is it, is it more problematic to read? No, you look beyond that. Right, OK. But with Sea of Ash, um, see, he's outgoing, as we all know, but with his left cheek, and I'm looking at the upper left, he tends to... Um, he takes words to heart, so if somebody said something, it really would cut him to the heart, to the core of the matter. Um, his, left, his, his right cheek, when I'm looking at the far right of the cheek, he tends to... He's, he's a bit kind of insecure. He puts, like, a bit of bravado on. What on earth is telling you about from his right cheek <laughs> that he's got a lot of bravado? Surely the clobber and the hat and the eye makeups, the giveaway and the big moustache that goes like that, that's the bit that says bravado, not his right bum cheek. <laughs> no, but, you see, he hides behind a mask, see, of Ash, and basically, if you got to know the real person, which I feel we will do before the end All of right. the series, he's very sensitive and let's, he's let's very... Get, can we get Donald in? We know enough about him anyway. Get in, Donald. Come in. <laughs> right, Donald. Well, let's see your bum. Maybe you don't have to bear it for no, us. You, you'll forgive me if I keep my trousers on. What, what, can you, what can you tell about that bum there? Well, Donald's got um, a square bum. Yeah. And basically, Lucky flat, man. flat square bottom. Yeah. Um, very confident in himself. Uh, aims high. Always looks forward. And I feel you must be starting something 
uh, for yourself up as well as doing your sort of career that you're doing. Something can a project. You've got some other projects on the go? <laughs> yeah, a few, a few. He's yeah. going to become I a rumpologist after yeah, today. Yeah, what do you think job. of this? Any oh, good? With you, you've got to calm down a bit. You, oh, you tend to. Yeah. Life's too hectic. Life's too damn and right. You've got to switch off. Yeah, I know you're so right about you that. Should I meditate. Can't, I can't. I want to meditate. I want to meditate. Maybe we can meditate together afterwards. Okay, yeah, Fantastic. definitely. All right, give her a big round of applause. <laughs> So, uh, Sam might find the housemate assets. Assets, very interesting, but there is certainly more to Noreen than just a great bum. Oh, yeah, she went ballistic when Siavas said... That